Hey everyone, it's Josie, and today I wanted to talk about Ehlers Danlos Syndrome, capsular shift surgeries, and physical therapy plans. I wanted to talk about this because someone who has Ehlers Danlos Syndrome who got a capsular shift surgery, I wanted to talk about a little bit of my experience as well as what we had to do. And if you have Ehlers Danlos Syndrome or you're a physical therapist, what do you do in this situation when it is presented to you? I wanted to talk about first, did not release the video yet, but I know this is not a surgery that is typically performed on people with Ehlers Danlos Syndrome. I'm gonna make a separate video about what happened, how this led to two different surgeries, but it wasn't really a EDS caused thing. It was really, I fell two separate times which stretched out a ligament and that's what happened here. So I followed what my surgeon said, which was build the muscles in my back in order to keep my joints in place in the front. I got the second one done. The first thing that I was concerned about is finding a physical therapist. The thing is with physical therapy and Ehlers Danlos Syndrome is you have to remove that stretching aspect. You're not looking to stretch out somebody who has Ehlers Danlos Syndrome. Their ligaments are already stretchy and you have to work on building muscles around the joints in order to keep stuff in place. But you also have to find a physical therapist that understands Ehlers Danlos Syndrome. You throw a capsular shift surgery in there, which is already not really a common surgery, it's a little bit different, right? Capsular shift surgeries, I feel like, are more on like the athletic side of things. Correct me if I'm wrong. And every once in a while, you come across someone who has EDS who gets this surgery. I do know, though, according to my physical therapist that I have now, there is physical therapy trainings for people who are interested. I feel like the biggest concern though that her and I were talking about with this, there seems to be a mention of like, surgeries are not recommended for people with Ehlers Danlos Syndrome. And this was a part of the topic and I have my own opinions about this is sometimes surgeries like this kind could be helping the person out getting their life back to normal. If you are a physical therapist and you are telling someone over and over again with EDS to not go and see a surgeon, you shouldn't get surgery. It really shouldn't be up to you as a physical therapist. That is not an opinion that you should be getting, giving. Being more encouraging, I feel like, and understanding their condition as an indi individual, asking questions about their condition, would probably be a little bit more, let's understand that. I went with that person that I had prior to this surgery and the immediate mistake that I ended up making is I didn't have them call my doctor ahead of time. Thought I communicated everything pretty straightforward and then it just didn't happen that way. All of a sudden they started stretching my arm. I said no, it just like it turned into this weird thing. They ended up pulling muscles on my right side there was an obvious miscommunication that ended up happening because their goals were not the goals that my doctor and I talked about and that I stated. I then went to my doctor's appointment, stated that we were having some sort of miscommunication. Then there was a phone call. What then was finally said to me, there was a different doctor within the area that sent out protocols and everyone needed to follow this exact plan. This then turned into a really good opportunity, in my opinion, of the plan is set up usually for athletes, but that plan is not set up for people who have Ehlers Danlos Syndrome. If you grabbed my arm and just started pushing my arm upwards, for someone who has ligaments like mine, you're going to injure me. And the thing is, is if you're a physical therapist watching this, someone with Ehlers Danlos Syndrome versus someone who's an athlete are two completely different people getting the surgery. If you're someone with EDS watching this, first thing you might end up needing to do is getting a physical therapist who not only understands capsular shift surgeries and EDS, but also getting your physical therapist to call the surgeon to figure out what you can, cannot do at what weeks, because it is different and all the plans, all the protocols that you're gonna find and they're gonna find, I'm eight weeks out and I'm still wearing a sling. But I can't do the range of motion that a typical person at eight weeks is supposed to be at if I look up a plan. And also we don't know what would happen for someone with EDS. If you get anything out of this video, if you have EDS or you're in the field is you need to ask what people's plans are. The specialized plans, a different plan, Take that plan that gets sent to you and ask, is this an EDS plan or am I stretching out this plan? 
because you're gonna injure somebody. Hopefully, this video helps someone out, maybe. <laughs> but I hope everyone has a good day and a good week. I'll see you soon.